Hey guys, Chris and Eddie here, and I just want to speak about uh, human flight, gravity. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to say in this video, but I wanted to sit down with you guys and have a little talk, have a little discussion about flight, levitation, and this thing we call gravity. You know, I, I was just answering a message on like a comment on one of my YouTube videos from about five or six years ago and at that time I believed that to achieve levitation, you know, to levitate our body up into the air and fly, back then I believed that you know, we had to develop enough energy to um, overcome gravity but now I believe differently. You know, I can compare my beliefs back then to my beliefs now and it's totally changed. Now I believe that everything is mind. You know, I am one with everything. Everything I see, everything you see behind me, the sky, the mountains, that's a part of me, that is me. This body is me, the sky is me. Everything that is visible to me is me and things like uh, for instance gravity that you can't actually see that's also me too I know that's gonna sound strange some people are not gonna be able to understand that and you know myself I'm saying it but maybe I don't completely understand it at this point in my life but it's my new belief system it's my new uh, program that I've installed into my you know into my reality so like I said in the past I believed I had to develop enough energy like internal energy or personal energy to raise myself off the ground and overcome gravity now if everything is mind the air is mind my body is mind then I don't need to develop any energy to to overcome gravity. It's not a case of overcoming gravity. I don't even need to consider gravity. Gravity is no longer part of the equation. If everything is mind, then you can do anything with a thought. A thought can manifest anything. But that thought has to be on the right uh, frequency or vibration in order to make it happen, to make my body levitate. Yes, of course, this is all just theory, you know. I can't tell you this is fact because I can't demonstrate to you. I can't, like, stand up and fly or levitate over there. I can't do it yet. So, yes, we're talking in theory. So, really, all it takes is a thought for me to stand up or even from a sitting position like this. To just have that thought and raise up or rise up into the air and just float up into the air like there's like gravity doesn't even exist because I can tell you what we call this thing called gravity that we can't see that we don't know exactly what it is science doesn't know can't pinpoint exactly what it is but what we can say for sure is that it is of the mind gravity exists in and of the mind like let's talk about for example in a dream when you're sleeping and you're having a dream and you jump up in the dream gravity pulls you back down again okay but that's just in your mind that's just the dream you're having inside your mind it's not real, it's a dream. But gravity exists in your dream. And the same, what we call laws of gravity, exist in the dream world, inside your mind, when you're sleeping. How crazy is that? If it's a dream, and you know it's not real, why should, the, why should gravity apply in your dream? Why can't you just float around in your dream? Why? Because you believe. In your waking reality, you hold the belief that gravity is here 
the gravity holds things down. If you jump up into the air, you're going to come back down. And that belief in this normal waking reality, that belief carries over into your dream world. So that even in your dreams, those laws are transferred into your dreams and they apply in your dreams. So therefore, gravity exists in your dreams too. And gravity controls you know, everything in your dream. So in theory, if you become a master of reality, if you manage to hack the matrix, so to speak, and break free, and you can fly around and levitate and do telekinesis and do anything, you can manifest anything, then that should carry over into your dream, into your dreams when you're sleeping. You know, even if you become like a demigod or a superhuman, you're still going to dream when you go to sleep. And what I'm saying is, your reality should carry over into your dreams. So that even when you dream, you're a demigod or a superhuman in your dream, and you are master of your reality inside that dream, which means you can fly, you can do telekinesis, whatever, in the dream. And so is true with your waking reality. So the point I'm trying to make, and I didn't make this video to talk about something specific, although I wanted to base it around the idea of gravity. The point I'm trying to make is that in your dream, you, those beliefs, that belief system, those programs about gravity are in place. And in reality, uh, those same programs are running in your mind. The gravity is holding you down. That if you jump up into the air, yes, you might jump one or two feet, but you're gonna come straight back down again. That's how powerful beliefs are. That's how society and the rulers of this planet, that's how they control what goes on here. A person or a being who is broken free of these um, restricting beliefs that m make it so that you believe you can't fly and even if you believe you can and you try you still can't fly like if I get up now if I stand over here even if I believe I can fly You know, even then, I, I, at the moment, currently, I believe I can fly. But when I try, it simply doesn't happen. And the reason? Because I haven't totally broken free of the chains, the binding heavy chains the society has put on us, called belief systems, right, that hold us down. And even though I believe that I can fly, Maybe the belief is not high enough, or like it's not at a high enough level, or you could say faith. My faith is not like pure, it's not total, it's not absolute, it's not absolute, absolute faith. Therefore, I don't fly, even when I try. And that's what I'm working on, you know? This takes time, but one day I believe it'll happen, you know? I'll be doing my flight training, or or maybe I'll just be relaxing, or maybe I'll be sleeping, and one day my body will just rise up off the ground because I've done so much training, but my subconscious mind has finally accepted it. You know, this guy really, really, really wants to be able to fly. And so let's just do it, and let's just give him the ability of flight because he wants it so much. He's, pro he's proven like over 10 years of, of training, of, of mind training, of, of body training, and you know, radically transforming like, the belief systems in his mind and 
his thought processes. And it's these types of people, people like me, maybe people like you, if you've been training hard enough and if you've been training long enough. It's these types of people who in five years, ten years or twenty years are going to be up there in the sky. So I'm not trying to say in this video like, hey look at me, I'm going to be flying one day and you're not. It's not like that. I'm just saying, if you truly want to be able to fly in the future, and it will come, there will be a point where there's humans flying, trust me, in the next 10 or 20 years. And if you desire in your heart, that, you know, you want to fly too, then you should want to be one of those people. One of those people that are up there flying. You should want to be one of them. And you can be one of them. But you have to start training now. Or you must have already been training 5 years, 10 years, 20 years, 2 years, or whatever. Or you start training today. And you make it like the goal for your life. One day I'm going to be able to fly. And then every day you do your training. Your mind training, your body training, and gravity. Gravity, we no longer have to worry about it. It's something we can just push aside, we can just take gravity and drop it on the floor, we don't need it anymore, okay? That was an old program, we're done with it, we don't need it, we don't need to consider it when we think about levitation and flight, okay? We can let it go, we can be free of it, we can, we can cut the chains that are, you know, wrapped around our legs that are holding us down, we can finally be free. For those people that still believe in gravity, it'll, it'll stay their reality, you know? If they jump up, they're going to come down again. But if we jump up, we can choose whether or not to come down again. That's the difference. That's the point I wanted to say. When your mind is elevated enough, your thinking, your belief systems, gravity can be switched on and off, just like a light switch. You can choose to have gravity in one moment and then in the next moment you can switch in your mind and have gravity, you know, come back on again. Like for example, if I want to fly, I can like turn off the gravity program in my mind. I can fly up and have fun flying around the clouds, around the mountains and then if I want to come back down, all I have to do is have a thought about gravity and I'll just come back down again but I can come down in a controlled manner you know so that I don't hurt myself I come down gently and I land gently just like uh, Superman lands Man of Steel usually you know if he's in a like a happy peaceful mood he'll just come down to the ground gently Maybe if he's angry or if he's in a rush, he'll slam down into the ground, but he'll st he still won't be hurt. You know, he won't hurt himself. Yeah, so that's what I wanted to say. Those people with their old beliefs about gravity, they'll have no choice. Gravity will be their law, their iron law. But for us, people like me, people like you, we will have the choice to have gravity or, or not have it. Or, like, something can have gravity, and, like, for example, there's ten objects in a room. You can choose for just one object to be free of gravity, and all the rest of the objects still have gravity. You know, because if everything lost its gravity, you know, the world's going to be chaos. In your house or whatever, everything's going to be floating around, there's... It's going to be crazy, so, you know, but you don't have to worry about that because your thoughts, your level, the level that you have reached of your mind, the high level, will deal with all that stuff automatically. So you won't have to worry about everything just floating around and everything going crazy. You know, in theory, you should have complete control over everything at a subconscious level so that's it guys I mean it's been cloudy for months this is the first like sunny day blue sky 
and I just wanted to sit down and talk with you guys about flight, about gravity, about the mind, and yeah, I just wanted to spend some time chatting with you and you know sharing my thoughts. So, you know, let me know in the comments what you think about this. Maybe you can share knowledge or information with us that maybe some people didn't think about. Maybe knowledge that I didn't even consider. You know, and it might help me to improve on my journey. So, so that's it, guys. This has been Chris and Eddie signing out from my home in Thailand, and I'll talk to you again very soon.